Okay, so the next technique that you're gonna uh, see here is the Ezekiel choke, all right? The Ezekiel is such a great attack um, because it's one that we can threaten right away. It doesn't take a lot of grips and positioning, all right? We just need control of the head. And, uh, and it's also a great tool to help us keep the mount position as well because if his hands are down there escaping and he starts to feel an Ezekiel coming on, his hands are gonna come up and start to defend the Ezekiel and stop doing any defending or escaping that they were doing before, all right? So it's going right back to the, to the strategy and the mindset of attacking, not just to look for the finish, but also to keep them defending our submissions so they can't focus on escaping the mount position itself, okay? So let's look at the Ezekiel here. This is one of those that is great to, to do right in the very beginning when you first mount, all right? Because that's kind of the time that people are going, you know, the craziest on, on trying to defend and, and, you know, not let you stabilize the mount, not let you get the points and things like that, all right? And anytime his hands are both down here or if he's kind of cupping my hip like this, he's trying to bump me up, anything like that, his neck is going to be wide open for the Ezekiel, all right? So... I just mount, once again, I have control of his head, okay? This is, you know, by far one of my favorite ways to hold the mount here, all right, just because of the ways I can set up my attacks and I can use my shoulder to shut down one side of his escapes, all right? So I feel that both his arms are down low, okay? He's not protecting his neck. There's a, a clear pathway for me to, to, to start to look for the choke, okay? So from here, one thing I will do when I know I want to really attack the Ezekiel is I'll kind of put my elbow above his arm, making it hard for him to bring his hand inside, okay? Or if he was actually already blocking my bicep, all right, with his hand, when I circle, same thing, use my elbow here to make it hard for him to get space to bring his arm back in, okay? So either way, just kind of use your elbow right on top of his shoulder, all right, instead of out like this where there's space for him to bring his hand back in and block, okay, here. Now, I'm gonna bring four fingers into my sleeve, and that's the, the hand that's around his head is the one that's going inside, all right, so I get my four fingers in there really deep, okay, and then I'm gonna start to make my grip, and from here, I like to, to shrink this hand, okay, kind of down to my knuckles, just like this, to make it a little easier for me to weave under his chin, okay? So now I start to look to circle under his chin. Now, once I do that, this point where I'm grabbing my sleeve, I need to connect that to the, to the side of his neck. So once you get under the chin, you're gonna have to move your arm all the way across his neck a little bit, okay? And that'll really set in the choke. Okay, so my elbow's down here. I get the four fingers in. All right, make my grip. I start to circle my knuckles under his chin. Now I'm gonna bring this across. Okay, so you see how I pull it all the way across his neck. Now the grip and the lock is right next to his neck on that side. And now from here, I'll angle just a little bit. Okay, so I kind of bring my knee up and I'll start to extend my arm and there's the finish. Okay, so I'm just extending my arm down to my other wrist, all right? And I angle a little bit to make it easier for me to make this extension, okay? If I'm straight on, it's gonna be hard. I'm gonna wanna just go just kind of straight down into him instead of off to the side, all right? So, control, drop the elbow, all right? I feel he's going hard for, my, uh, for the escape of my hip. His neck's wide open, I immediately start to circle this under, okay? Rotating right under his chin, just like this. Now, I bring it across, okay, here. Keep your grip strong on the other side. All right, this makes it much tighter. Now, from here, angle a little bit, start to lean back, and straighten the arm, just like this, okay? One more time. Actually, let's turn this way. Here, had control. I can tell he's just wanting to, to Try to go hard for his escape right now. Use my elbow, four fingers in, circle under, bring this across. Slide up, there's your angle, there's your finish. 
you already have pretty much 50% of this technique set up and ready to go just by controlling their head. All right, and most of the time when you mount, you already have control of their head. So this is an excellent attack to kind of go for right away once you land and mount, especially when they're just looking to bump and shrimp and uh, they're not thinking about their neck just yet. They're just thinking about not getting mounted. The sooner you can, t you can attack, the better, and oftentimes this will get the job done right away.